hello, hello. You're very welcome back to another video. Today we have a review. We're checking out FS Reborn's FSR 500. Now FS Reborn, they've been making add-ons for flight simulation all the way back in P3D with their visual immersion packs. They blasted onto the scene in Microsoft Flight Sim with the Sting S4, the first aircraft to feature a parachute. Today we're checking out the FSR 500, which of course is based on the Piper PA46 Meridian or the M500. How does this stack up as a general aviation airplane? Feature rich, that's an understatement. Let's go check it out. So here we have the FSR 500, and I gotta say, this thing looks incredible. The model work, I mean, it looks beautiful. Texturing, we get a couple of options when it comes to deliveries, dynamic tail number, then we have the use of PBR, the reflections, all to a very high standard. When it comes to the closer details, the closer you get to the aircraft, you can really see the detailing here from the developer. The minutia of details are captured, gives you a very authentic replica of the aircraft. When it comes to the static elements, well, we're spoiled for choice. Chocks, all the removed before flight, the propeller covers, they're done very, very well, and they're highly detailed. 
There's an interactive fueling and loading characteristic for this aircraft, showing a fuel truck when you call for fuel, and you have a choice of different vehicles to deliver your passengers and their cargo. It's done very, very well. Moving on into the cabin, we can see the same level of detail exists on the interior as it does on the exterior. The seating, the carpet, the walls, everything here, well, it's very, very good indeed. As we move into the cockpit, it features a very modern avionic suite, very clear, easy to read, and all the font is extremely crisp. The detailing on the yoke is very, very nice, and all our circuit breakers are modeled here. When it comes to the night lighting, I gotta say, it's top notch. This beautiful teal lighting system inside the cockpit, we have reflections from each of the switches, and when you move into the cabin, we have individual spill lights over the seats, and this beautiful gold color that illuminates the walls. Moving on to the exterior, and it's the same story. Beautiful nav lights, the strobes, and the bloom we get off the landing and taxi lights, they're top class. I think the visuals of this aircraft, they're as good as you can get, and for that, I give it five. So moving on, we have the systems. And I gotta say, there's a lot going on here. So the initial kind of pre-flight, we have the status. So there is wear and tear. There's absolute consequence if you don't mind this aircraft. It can pick up damage. You know, the, the tires wear out, the brakes wear out. There's so many options here. So we can go in and check on the maintenance area. And again, it's very, very intuitive. We can click on a critical part of the aircraft and get a description about it. We have the option to replace it or repair the system. We can even change the tire pressures. The aircraft also features integration with SimBrief and Navigraph. Click of a button and it'll pull your SimBrief plan, load it into the aircraft, and when you connect with Navigraph, well, you have access to all your charts. The loading is fast and crisp, and there's no delay. Each of the pages you can view, along with your entire flight plan, and it's a touch screen, so you can just click the mouse on it and start dragging. When it comes to the fuel and ground operations, again, we have a lot of options. The tablet displays everything beautifully. We can see all these sliders when it comes to our passengers, our cargo, and indeed our fuel. And speaking of the fuel and loading, it's done really, really well. Once you load the aircraft, you have a choice. You can skip all these animations, or if you want to watch them, you'll see the vehicles approach. It's just, it adds to that level of immersion. Next up, we're going to have a look at the cabin comfort. This feature pretty much simulates a real world pilot, the corporate pilot that is, flying passengers to and from. We have a number of different cabin services. We also get an update on how our passengers are doing. If they're thirsty, if they're hungry, and their general comfort. And that could be down to your flying or even the environmental settings you have set in the aircraft. Moving on, we have our realism options. And again, you can tailor the aircraft to your needs. Turning on or off anything to do with the electrical systems, general, uh, we have engine, landing gear, and our fuel and payload. Click of a button and everything works. The EFB features an FAQ section, so any questions you may have about the aircraft or its systems, well, all the answers should be there. And finally, we look at the settings. There's a lot of options here. We can change the units of measure the, for the weight, distance, tire pressures, temperature. The aircraft also features action cameras. These are pretty awesome. Basically, if you turn on an action camera, whenever that action is activated within the sim, the camera will automatically move to that location. For this one here, we're going to put on the aircraft door. So when the door opens, well, we get to see an external view focused on that door. It's done really, really well. And what I love about this, we have the option to turn it off or on. It's entirely up to us. We also have the aircraft wear and tear speed. We can accelerate that if we want the challenge and we can reset everything we want if we want to start a brand new flight with a brand new aircraft. I think the EFB on this aircraft, along with the systems, it's absolutely top notch. When we're flying the aircraft, there's another two features I want to show you. FS Reborn have just done an incredible job here. It's so immersive. The level of detail when it comes to the systems, it's excellent. And for that, I give it five. Moving on, we have the sounds. And again, these are of the highest quality. All the sounds that we can hear from the internal and the exterior, all the button presses, switches, dials, the light switches. Then we have the aircraft sounds itself from the electrical system, the avionics, all the fans, the environmental controls from the uh, air conditioning and all the fan blowers. Everything is done extremely well here.
internal sounds and the external sounds, they're some of the best you're going to get. And for that, I give this 5. Next up we have the handling. And I gotta say, the FSR 500, it can be a bit of a challenge. It's giddy on the ground, so you gotta make sure when taxiing, you keep the aircraft in its beta range. That tends to catch a lot of people out. Take off, climb, cruising, descend, landing, everything is done really, really well here. It's very intuitive, there's even great sounds on the yoke movement as well. Flying the aircraft within its own envelope, it's very rewarding, it feels great. When you take it outside of its comfort zone, it's absolutely incredible. The stall features are brilliant. And then we look at some of the safety features built into the aircraft itself. We have this electronic stability protection or ESP, but basically with it off, you can have a lot of fun with the aircraft. You can kind of put it into positions it shouldn't usually be in. However, when we activate the ESP, well, the aircraft will take over. If you try and bank this or climb this too abruptly, it'll reset what you're doing and level the aircraft. The next feature is the auto level autopilot function. This blue button here in the glare shield, well, if anything is going wrong in terms of disorientation, you think the aircraft is losing control, well, you can click on this switch and it'll auto level the aircraft for you, engaging its autopilot. Again, it's another feature added into the aircraft. There's a massive nose on this aircraft. It's always going to be a challenge when you're trying to land, but once you get the timing right, it's very rewarding. The handling in this aircraft again it's absolutely incredible and for that i give it five so what about the price what do we get for our investment the aircraft is available from the insim marketplace and it's priced at 32 dollars 99 it's available on xbox and the pc i gotta say the pricing well it's staggering considering the feature list we have at this add-on we have the wear and tear, the damage, we have the consequence. We also have a depth of system simulation here, environmental controls, navigation, it's all there. Then we can be a pilot. It's not just about the flying or navigating. Well, we have to look after our passengers, from loading, comfort, making sure they're not thirsty and they're not hungry. And to think all of this was developed using the native SDK, it's incredible. The support you get as a customer from FS Reborn, they're one of the best in the business. All things considered, the price, I think it's exceptional value. And I scored 5. So before I reveal the overall score, well, let me know in the comments section below, what do you think? Would you score it the same? Or maybe there's other aircraft worthy of these scores? I love reading your comments. If you get the chance, do be sure to hit the like, subscribe and get notified button lets me know to keep making this content. So thank you very, very much indeed for watching this video. And until the next time, you take care.